Hey guys, and welcome to our email marketing portion of the course. I'm really excited to share this portion with you guys because it's one of the most important portions in e-commerce. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. It's uh, a very powerful way to increase your sales, to create sales. Uh, you know, a lot of people will come into your funnel, come to your site. They won't purchase, you know, an average of, did you see about like four or five times before someone really uh, will think, you know what, I'm going to purchase because they, they see your company, they see, you know, it's reputable, they see it a few times, and then they start to trust it and uh, you can gather sales, okay? So just know, you know, there is a percentage of people, I'd say around 30% that just aren't going to purchase, okay? Uh, at about 50% will purchase later on maybe 60%. It's a very select few percentage of people that will buy right away, okay? And so email marketing is very important. And plus, once you actually have a customer, it's much easier to sell to them later on because they trust you, they've already bought from you, and uh, you can market to them and they will become a repeat customer, okay? So there's many different forms of email marketing. There's many different types of series that you can go through. And so we're gonna be going through uh, about five different series uh, of email marketing, okay? Uh, we do have the templates available for you, uh, especially if you're new, okay? Uh, this portion of email marketing, we're gonna be going over the abandoned cart sequence. So if someone comes to your site and they add to the cart, but then they don't end up purchasing. So we're gonna teach you how to actually get them as a customer, okay? So, but just understand, you know, email marketing is super powerful. Uh, it's a customer retention tool for online retailers. The only problem is that a lot of companies don't know uh, which automated email campaigns are worth prioritizing, which ones are worth testing. Uh, there's a ton of upside to adopting email marketing. It generates the highest return on investment uh, out of the most common digital channels, um, which uh, earns businesses an average of $38 for every dollar invested. So for every dollar that you invest, in email marketing, you're gonna yield a $38 return on your investment. That is huge, guys. Uh, it's a critically important part for customer loyalty because uh, they see your brand, like I said, over and over, and uh, they'll end up purchasing, but also uh, they'll become a repeat customer, they'll become a fanatic of your, of your brand, a, a raging fan, and what that does that lead to? That leads to referral business, okay? So emails, uh, they provide a, a highly leveraged way to encourage repeat purchases uh, and make your business less dependent on new customers. It could be very up and down, guys. You know, like this, this uh, holiday season, it could be up. But then what happens in January or February, March, right? It could be you can have down months. Okay, then you can have a great month, you know, June, summer, when everyone's off. But then, you know, when school starts, that, you know, in September, you can have down months. So email marketing keeps that consistent uh, sale for you guys, okay? And plus, here's the thing. When you're going out there and you're advertising, when you're, you know, you have Google AdWords, you have shopping campaigns, Pinterest campaigns, Facebook campaigns, Instagram, right? And you're trying to get new customers, right? Now, what happens? Let's say you have, uh, you know, a sales page that ranks number one. But what happens if it gets taken away and Google changes their algorithm? You can lose all your customer, you can lose all your revenue overnight. But when you're gathering people's email addresses and you're uh, constantly um, you're emailing them and you have, that's traffic you don't own. Now it's traffic that you do own. You own that list and that list is very, very powerful. Okay, it helps you build a brand and get better customers who are gonna spend more money with you. So it's very essential. So let's get into the first series, which is an abandoned cart series, okay? Okay, so uh, it's thought that almost 75 to 85% of all online shopping carts are abandoned. That is huge. Eight out of 10 people that come to your site and add something to the cart, they abandon that. That's a lot of money left on the tables from shoppers, okay? They were interested enough to add it to the cart. But what may have happened, may, something may, you know, they may have gotten busy or they saw shipping or maybe it just was a bad time. Who knows what it is, but it's estimated that online retailers lose as much as $4 trillion to abandoned carts. Oh my goodness. And savvy owners though can recover 63% of that lost revenue. That's a lot of revenue that is made up 
through abandoned cart series. That's why it's crucial to have a strategy when it comes to abandoned carts. Okay, you want to mac you want to maximize uh, effectiveness. You want to take this automated email campaign further than just a single reminder. So don't just send one reminder. Hey, you forgot to check out. Here you go. Okay, you want to have a sequence of emails so you can continue to reap the benefits of uh, you know long after you push the campaign live. Okay, so here's how we're going to set up an abandoned cart series. Okay, so when you send your abandoned cart emails. Uh, it's very important to know it's not one size fits all. Okay. Now we generally recommend to um, send the first email. You could do anywhere between 12 to 24 hours after they come and abandon the cart. Okay. So you want to test. It's going to be different depending on your niche. Certain people, you may want to do 24 hours, certain people, 12 hours, even some people maybe letting you know six hours. Okay. So uh, test it out, see how it works. So you're gonna have a series of generally three emails. Now you could do up to uh, five, six, it even says seven or more emails, uh, especially if that's what your metrics are telling you. Uh, we know one company that sends a seven part email automation series to re-engage abandoned carts. The bottom line is if people keep buying from your abandoned cart emails, you should keep sending them, okay? So you have, your first email 12 to 24 hours later, your second email can be 24 to 48 hours later, and then your third email can be 48 to 72 hours later. Now, if you want to send a fourth, fifth, and sixth email, then you know you can do 72 to 96 hours and so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, but this is the basics and the uh, you know of, of how it works. Okay. So uh, first email, you want to remind shoppers of what they left behind. So a lot of companies distribute discounts and promo codes right after someone abandons a cart. Savvy shoppers have caught on. I've caught on. Now you guys will probably catch on. So here's what I do. If I want to purchase something from a, a retailer, so I actually just did this the other day. Uh, you may see this table behind me. That's a puzzle. Uh, I went and bought a puzzle online, and I abandoned the cart just to see if I would be offered a discount. And funny enough, 24 hours later, I was offered a 15% off discount code and so I took it <laughs> and I got a few dollars off of my item now what uh, that company did yeah they sent it right away it was good for me I, I was gonna buy it anyway but uh, what you should do is just remind them first so um, some are gonna you know you're gonna be throwing away your margins guys just throwing it in the wind if you're doing that okay instead you want to use the first email as just a simple reminder Tell shoppers that they left something in their cart. Show them a picture of the product uh, if your template allows. Uh, add low-cost benefits and include a link that takes them directly to checkout. You want to make it as easy as possible, okay? You want to keep it very simple. Uh, the following example is going to be a text-only cart abandoned email. This is the type of approach that's great for bootstrap businesses. So if you guys are on a budget, this is perfect for that, okay? Uh, if you only have the resources to design a single beautiful email or if it's to create a whole series of text emails, you're likely to get more bang for your buck with the latter. Okay. So here's an example here. It says here to complete your purchase. Hey, Dan Wang. So there's a, um, there's a feature in a lot of email marketing apps that will allow you to insert their first and last name. So you get to create the, the latter portion here. It says your shopping cart at blank has been reserved and is waiting for your return in your cart. You left, so in the software, it has it to where it automatically insert that. And then you can say, you know, but it's not too late to complete your purchase, click this link. And then you can then uh, drag and drop a, it's code that takes them directly to their cart. So you don't have to learn to code or anything like that. So very simple email, um, you know, for ours, sometimes what we do is we'll say, uh, hurry, uh, your items are almost sold out here's your cart and then you know we'll say hey it's not too late complete your purchase so first email is just a simple reminder second email is you're going to be uh, handling objections okay so what is the main reason people are not buying your products okay so you want to address these objections head-on and convince subscribers that your product is worth buying so you want to know what uh, deters people from buying your products? Is it price? Um, usually it's price, right? Is it uh, maybe features? 
So uh, addressing hesitations with your abandoned cart email automation uh, by uh, overtly listing product benefits and including facts to push users to complete their purchase. Um, so if you don't know what your people's objections are, you'll want to ask. So ask a question, add a question to your first uh, email that solicits feedback about why they didn't complete the purchase. Run it for a month. You'll have a baseline of data around why people aren't converting. So if you have a lot of abandoned carts, you don't know why, you can't think of why people aren't buying, run a campaign for a month that'll ask them and solicit their feedback so that you can find out, okay? And then you're gonna use those insights to guide how you build out the second email of your cart abandoned series. So maybe you need to emphasize your, your free shipping or provide uh, additional social proof through reviews and testimonials from happy customers. So you can handle objections, you can have uh, testimonials, you can have reviews, put a fact on there, right? Um, so here's one right here. It says, still thinking about it. You know, if you can't decide, here are some things that uh, we think you could do uh, with your whiskey loot box. Uh, try new whiskeys every month. Drink them while winning at poker. Drink really, really slowly. Become a whiskey expert. Have a question. How many bottles do I get? What else comes in the box? Do I have a question? You can have them uh, reply to the email and ask questions. How do I skip this? So here is a great example of objections and they're listing benefits things that they can do with the product so this is a really amazing email if you have email number two now another way uh you can use email number two if you see here is you can offer a discount on email number two now completely up to you so you may want to offer a discount on email number three uh, and then email number two, you have the objections, or you could do vice versa. You could do email number two, you offer them the promo code, 15% off, or, and then email number three could be objections, and you can test back and forth, okay? Um, here's an example of our email, uh, number two. It says, hey, John, you know, your card's about to expire, hurry, it's almost sold out. You can now receive uh, your order for 15% off, use promo code CART15, you'll create that discount in Shopify. And then you can show them the product. It says right here to get 15% off. It's not too late. They click on that link. It takes them straight to their cart and they can get 15% off. This does help to get customers to purchase. Okay, now offer email number three, offer a discount or incentive. So if people haven't converted after your first email or your second email, depending on what you want to do, you'll want to add extra motivation. You can now send them a discount. So it could be a percentage off. It could be a dollar amount. You could say, you know, get $10 off. It could be a free gift. Uh, you know, like we were giving away a free ebook that we created. It could be free shipping. But you want to compel people to take action uh, and do what works with your margins, okay? Like I said, you can run split testing. So uh, an A-B test to find out which approach is more effective for your audience. So you can run a $10 off amount and then a percentage off or a free gift. Try different things, okay? Uh, remember to include a picture of the product if possible and a link back to the shopping cart, just like you saw before. Okay, uh, another, another thing we like to do is, let's say for email number three or email number four, we would say, hey, today's the last day before your 15% off discount expires. So if they open it up, they, they think, oh, that's right, I got 15% off. Knowing that it's going to expire and they can't get it, that creates a call to action and a fear of loss. So you will get a lot of people checking out because of that, okay? All right, so that is it for our abandoned cart series. Thank you guys. Uh, on the next video, we'll be getting into the next series, which is a welcome series. So we'll get into that here in a second. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much.